morning. Welcome to Thursday, about 6.05 Arizona time. I need to uh, confess something to all my viewers out there. And uh, I've been hiding it for a while, but uh, I, need to, I need to come clean. And um, it's, it's what I identify as. But I'll, uh, I'll go over that in a little while. But uh, it's time I come out of the closet. But first, Cryptos, doing a nice little comeback overnight. Bitcoin's up from yesterday about $4,000. XRP is up, I think, 14 14 cents from yesterday and that's all based on at this moment in time by the time you see this video tonight possibly at 5 p.m. your time uh, prices might have changed but as of 6.05 Tucson time a.m. in the morning those are the changes uh, Theta Theta is up What was it up? I think it was up to uh, up three dollars from seven dollars yesterday, and I just looked at it. I thought I, it said nine dollars and change or ten dollars. So it, it's doing a, uh, a nice little uh, comeback as well. Digibyte, another nice pullback. That's up three cents from yesterday. I think I saw it. What? I think I saw it at uh, six cents. It's up to like 10, 10.04, something like that. Again, these prices might change as as when I post these videos. Um, these are some great opportunities right now, some great buying opportunities. Well, I don't like to see the, uh, while I don't like to see any, any, any market crash, if it does, I wish it really crashes what I mean by that a silver I don't like to see the silver market crash or even come down a little bit but if it's gonna make that move then I want it to come down significantly to where I can really um, capitalize on on that you know for it to come down for example for silver to come down one or two dollars whippy do you know but if silver came down ten dollars overnight now that's given me the opportunity to capitalize when I purchase more. But to capital, to, to purchase more at a dollar savings when it only went down a dollar. So the same thing with cryptos. You know, I don't want to see cryptos crash. I, you know, I lose money out of my portfolio. Well, I don't lose money out of the portfolio. What, what it means is my capital goes down until the till till the market rebounds but what am i saying i don't like to see that happen but if it's going to make the move and come down i want to see a significant crash not a few pennies where i don't really where i can't capitalize on that so i was kind of hoping that digibyte would actually fall below 5 cents i would love to see, theta went down to 6 6 and a half Cent, uh, I'm sorry, six and a half dollars. Data went down six and a half dollars. What a buying opportunity! I would have loved to see it go down even further. So, when when the cryptos crash, I like to see them crash really good. And and it's scary for some people. It truly, especially if you have a large investments. Uh, uh, a lot of people. They started uh, very early on in the crypto markets. Uh, they, they invested a, a few thousand dollars and literally made $150,000. And to see that disappear in the course of two days, it can be a little freaky, but don't worry about that. That It, it will rebound. You will get that money back and more. Uh, we are still in the infancy stages of the cryptocurrency markets. Uh, Regardless of what you're being told, and you got to remember, about a year from a year ago from today, maybe two years ago, mainstream media, the television, news—they refused to talk about cryptocurrency. 
currencies. They didn't want you to know about that. And if there was any kind of publication regarding cryptocurrencies, regarding Bitcoin, it would be negative. Now, we're hearing a lot of positive things coming on television, mainstream news about cryptocurrencies. We're, we're having important people step forward now who bashed cryptos years ago. Now coming out saying it's, 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 a, it's a primary investment for them. It's the way of the future. And one last thing on cryptos. More and more businesses, more and more businesses every day are accepting cryptocurrencies. You got a, a lot of airlines. I was watching uh, because I'm in the I'm in the boat market right now. I'm looking for a nice boat, a center console boat for my future. Something like a like a 35, 38 foot contender center console contender I would love to get that boat but anyway I'm looking so what I'm and in that research I'm looking at a lot of videos boat videos but in that research I am also finding that a lot of these boat manufacturers are accepting cryptocurrencies as payment <laughs> hell yeah because I'm not to the best of my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge, I'm not obligated to pay taxes until I cash out, until I turn those cryptocurrencies into fiat. But if I can pay, and I'll double check this information, but if I can pay directly for a product utilizing cryptocurrencies, I'm not going into the fiat market. But I will, I will double check that information. But um, getting back to what I was saying, more and more businesses are accepting cryptocurrencies. I'm seeing, I'm seeing used boats for sale. For example, Craigslist listings that say will accept cryptocurrencies. I kid you not. So again, more and more businesses are accepting it. Where we buy our silver and gold from. They accept cryptocurrencies now. Travelocity, a lot of places accept cryptocurrencies now. So if you think it is something that is just a fad, you're highly mistaken because a lot of these big companies, they don't, they just don't do financial mistakes, if you know what I mean. It seems like every financial move they make is the correct one. So, now to my confession and what I identify as and um, always have identified as and I need to I need to get this off my chest um, you know last what is it it hasn't been in the news lately but in the last I say four years ago it really was in mainstream it was in our ears 24 7 about people identifying as whatever sexual orientation they want to identify at that point in time. I do apologize about the, the lighting here. Heading due east right now. I need another cup of coffee. This brain lubricant. I, I, don't, I don't think so well when I'm decaffeinated. And a lot of these businesses, these woke businesses, were accepting that. Hey, if you're a if you're a dude and you identify as a lady, well then you can go use the ladies room not right next to some uh, eight year old girl. I mean, we don't care, you, you identify, it's your right to do what you want. You can come into our business and use whatever bathroom you identify yourself with at that point and time. Places like Walmart, Target, our government was encouraging it. You can identify whatever you want to identify as, and you can come into our business, no questions asked, and you can you can you can whip it out and pee right next to a freaking six or seven year old girl. And that was cool with them. Well, folks, I too identify 
as somebody that I was not born as. I identify as a vaxxed person. I, I, I identify as a coronavirus vaccinated person. <laughs> and you can't deny me entry into your business. So there, I got it off my chest. I feel, I feel relieved. I feel like I'm not I'm not misleading you. I'm not hiding anything from you. I'm not... I just feel real now. I feel real and I feel wholesome. I feel... I feel great. <laughs>